welcome to Wendy's Coring and welcome to my latest purchase um, collection. Yeah, <laughs> can't stop, so you know, I'm not even going to apologise for it anymore. Going to go through a few bits and pieces that I've got this month. Bought more kind of arty things this month than I have books, but I still have got obviously <laughs> some books. So I did get the Enchanted Animals special by Colouring Heaven. Um, that's Kanoko Aguso. I know there's loads of flips of these. I'm not gonna um, do more than just quickly this. There's loads of flips available on lots of channels, but yeah, I got that. Um, I don't have a huge amount of Kanoko Aguso. I think I've got two books. Um, yeah, Intimidating Fur puts me off a little bit, but this is a beautiful one, so yeah, I couldn't resist. Then, obviously, again, already on the channel, um, Kulia's latest mandalas version 3 book again there's a video on the channel of me coloring uh, that one if you want to see it but obviously there's that as well again it's on the channel don't need to show it now and then also on the channel is the lovely hannah carlson's space um little kids version coloring book again video on the channel if you want to see it that's obviously also new this month. Then, obviously, Book Depository uh, has closed this month. So, uh, yeah, as I'm sure most of us um, clone book people have done, we've kind of had a look through our wish lists, what's still on the list, what's going to cost me a fortune if I try and buy it somewhere else, if I don't get it now. And yeah, this one, has been, I think it's been on my list for quite a while. Four Seasons Colouring Book, Beautiful Days of Green Ivy 4. Is the artist Green Ivy of this? I've ch that's what it says here, and that's what it says here. So I was like, is that her name? I don't know. Somebody will know, I'm sure. They're probably shouting it at me now, sorry. But yeah, I did get this lovely book. It's, it's pretty pretty thick this book again there's loads of flips i'm not going to spend ages on it i kind of thought it was hardback though and as you can see it is not hardback it's most definitely a softback and mine's a little bit dinged on the edge not the end of the world but it is beautiful paper is quite smooth i think i think it probably will take a little bit of watercolor though pretty easily i would imagine the reason I hadn't bought this before is that I have the Forest Girls books and I've chickened out of colouring in all of them so far. And so I thought this is kind of in the same vein, although the illustrations are quite different, I think. It's a, it is a different style um, and obviously a different artist. But um, So it kind of put me off getting it. But, yeah, when you're in that... Well, if I don't get it now, it's going to cost me twice the price scenario. I kind of thought, well, I know there are beautiful pages in here. It is a lovely book. Um, I just haven't got to the other ones, so I hadn't bought this one yet because it kind of feels like it's in the same kind of style. I think this is a little bit sweeter, if anything, really. But, yeah, I got that one. I think it's beautiful. I'm hoping to persuade myself to colour in it. I think it's not quite as intimidating as maybe some of the Forest Girl um, pages are I think it's a bit more fun it feels a bit more fun now I'm looking at it in real life than the other ones so I'm hoping I will um, yeah but yeah my first one from book depository and then again as you can imagine wish list I think I saw this on uh, Lavellia's channel I think she showed it last month possibly maybe the month before um, this is Guardian Fairy of the Wonderful Garden English fairy garden protected by a girl fairy, I don't know, by this lady, Rosa Freakin, I don't know, I won't butcher her name, but this lady anyway, and I, I just thought this was beautiful, um, so I did go searching on Book Depository for it, which in the Korean book book section, again, literally has shown it, so I'm not going to spend ages on it, oh, it doesn't brand new doesn't want to open but it's the same kind of situation that you get a nice color print and you get the version of these beautiful ladies in this book it is a bit on the scary side i think and it's in these little different categories but i think it's so beautiful and i do enjoy doing clothes um and things like that so i thought yeah i would jump for it while it's on book depository and i could get it i'm sure it is on etsy and some of the other um places but obviously not for free postage so 
yeah I jumped to get this one as well because I think this is very very pretty book good grief look at those flowers that is a detailed little page look at that version absolutely stunning stunning artwork in it terrifying but absolutely stunning so yeah it may be one of those books that I just look at a lot oh gosh look at that one as well look at the flowers in that it's so beautiful it's probably one of those books that I end up just looking at being terrified looking at again <laughs> and still chickening out of it and it has these lovely colored versions at the front as well that I'll flip very very quickly for you oh um, but yeah it's a beautiful book very pleased I've got it before they closed it <laughs> I'd, I'd found it and then I, th I think I was cooking at the time so then I had to go back down and carry on with the cooking and then when I came to actually actually remember and <laughs> come and check it out it had gone out of stock and I was like no <laughs> however it came back in again a few days later so I had it order order <laughs> I want it I want it and then as I was buying that one, I did look up the um, illustrator because you can kind of just click, well, you used to be able to just click on the illustrator and see what else they had. And she had this one, which is a Hansel and Gretel book by the same artist as that one I was just looking at. So this one obviously is slightly different, more of a square format. And it is a slightly different, let me just crack it because I've not, uh, I've not really done a proper opening the pages page. It is a different book to that first one. Obviously, that one is beautiful that I've just looked at. Um, but this one... Can I put that on an actual illustration? What an idiot. This one is just a bit more of a... Um, feels a bit less scary as a book. No idea what this says. I'm guessing it's that some of the Han Hansel and Gretel story. They are quite detailed pages. But I kind of feel like the paper is pretty nice in here I think it, I'll get away with some watercolour in here so I was kind of thinking well you could just wash over with some watercolour straight over some of this um, and that would be okay so I, I think I'm not sure I'd ever call it the, pag, the pile of twigs I think that's not as likely some of it I think straight away yeah I'm probably not going to colour that one but some of it I think that would be beautiful coloured but oh my word this will drive me nuts down there I shall go through quickly. See this page, probably not for me. This page, probably not. <laughs> but then there are some lovely, oh hello, random adverts for something I have no idea. Then there are these little cute pages that I think are very nice. Yeah, this, this paper is fighting back. Which is what you want. You do want a good quality paper. So I quite like these. These pages are lovely. A lot of mosaic. I think it's just a bit it's a bit different from anything else that I have some of this is getting a little bit tiny and small and then you've got at the back these bookmarks they look like they, you could cut them out and fold them back on themselves so you've got these kind of Hansel and Gretel inspired bookmarks I've got a square one could be a card could be a bookmark what's on the other side of them well nothing the whole back is blank so yeah you can cut those out stick them together and then we've got two little more little card for you thank you and two more little book book marks yeah so that's Hansel and Gretel. I've forgotten not again already. Where have I just put my sticker? My own fairy tale colouring book, Hansel and Gretel. 
yeah I, th I thought I don't love all of it but I think it's quite cute then when I got I got a book from Aliexpress last month I also got these little things which I have seen on Amazon UK since so I'll try and add them in the description below but the little uh, fairy tale dream and enchanted garden uh, books that are I just thought they they kind of remind me of bookmarks because they're quite thin but you also get this little uh, watercolour paper so I just use your wet brush on it to make the paint so you've got palettes on every page as you can see and then at the back which you also probably spotted you've got some more palettes so you've got some spur ones at the back and in a little secret hole in the back you've also got a little brush and it's not terrible you know these were only cheap from Ali and like I say I've spotted them on UK Amazon I've to find them again since but yeah the, each of the little postcards is different and obviously I'm using little bookmarks all the time in videos so I thought actually these are quite cute they wouldn't take ages it's watercolour card that it's made of and they're quite little cute little things aren't they they had I can't turn that one that does not want to turn it's just shaking they had a few different um, styles of these but these were the two that I thought oh yeah I quite like them I could see myself colouring or painting those they're quite cute I can't hold them <laughs> they're impossible to flip because it's thick card oh, I'll come back <laughs> This is a great video, just watching me fight with a little bookmark book. But yeah, pretty cheap, quite cute. Are these little fold, are they supposed to fold them back on themselves? They're like page minders, I think they must be. But yeah, so this one has this colour palette in it, and the other one that I got has an entirely different palette. So I thought I could use them together. And again, it has this palette on the pages instead of that palette so you've got a slightly different colour palette in both books this one is Enchanted Garden and again as you might expect it's all kind of foresty planty type scenes which I thought were really cute for the money and like I say it's, it's nice little watercolour cards you can paint them well obviously because they're giving you paint oh turn go on but yeah, quite little fun, nice little il illustrations. I thought these were really cute. Um, oh no. <laughs> cute, but impossible to show, to film, because I can't keep hold of them. And then you've got two little butterfly ones, and then you're back to the palettes. You get one, two full palettes, and another little brush in there. So my cute little... Is it my dear? Not sure. It's going to be a nightmare trying to find these again on Amazon. It was purely just coincidental that I found them. But yeah, I got these off Alley. I didn't get them off Amazon, but I have seen them on Amazon. I thought they were cute little, cheap little chuck in your bag, easy to colour. Oh, I used a bit of watercolour on them. Then, my last book this month was a second-hand purchase from... Facebook from a Facebook group um, so this is Genovia by I, I'm not even gonna go there to try and pronounce that pronunciation so I think this was some kind of special purchase that this particular person had made um, for the first run of this books print so this version has really very nice paper I think you can get this on Amazon I've seen it on Amazon but I suspect it's not on this nice paper it looked to me when I was just looking on Amazon like it was just an Amazon print book now if you buy the version off Amazon whereas I think this was the first run that was a special print of it but it's quite costume based um, and I do like doing little costumes and naturey things so I thought oh yeah I, that's quite an unusual looking book and I do quite fancy it so again it's an utter new book there's um it's been out a while it's got the publication date it's not at the front let's have a look is it at the back there you go 2020 so it's definitely not a new book but 
it's not a book I'd seen a huge amount of and I just thought some of it was really beautiful so um, I flicked through quite quickly but yeah really nice pretty um, pages that yeah just I thought was really lovely so yeah quite fancy it but like I say I've seen there are Amazon versions of it um, but I don't know how easy this version is to get because like I say I think this was a, a Kickstarter or something like that I think I think he said it was so um, I don't know how many of these were obviously printed and certainly I don't think you can buy this particular print run unless you spot it somewhere second hand but yeah it's quite pretty my cup of tea definitely dresses pretty ladies and some nature kind of felt like it was made for me really it's all the things I enjoy so um Oop. so there you go Genovia by uh, I'm I'm sorry I'm not going there but yeah pretty lovely secondhand purchase and that was all my books for this month so um I'll show you some of my art things okay so neither of these things are particularly unusual for me um Artex Acrylic Makers, this is the first set, set A, I have this set already, but a couple of mine are starting to get um, a little bit run out, so I'm having to dip the brush into some water and just kind of reinvigorate it a little bit, and particularly the pink one that I use a lot, this one, that was definitely had it um, in my set so yeah I've been persuading it to work but it's not got much ink whatever it, acrylic ink I'm guessing is in these so I hadn't got much left and the same with the yellow I think one of the greens as well so I have bought this set as you can see brand spanky new replacement set I was hoping these would have the stickers on that the set B did but it doesn't look like these do have the stickers I can't pick the tray up. These trays are not designed for people with nails. I'm going to break my nail. Oh, oh, there we go. So, yeah, no, we haven't got the stickers in the set A set still. Not that my stickers would stay on, but they are undoubtedly my most favourite acrylic marker. Um, so, yeah, it was frustrating me that a couple were running out. I've used them loads. It's not a criticism. Of them at all I have used the most every color coloring page that I work on I tend to use these for so I was always going to replace them if they started getting a bit dodgy and then the other thing I got was this that I got again from AliExpress the 72 Brute Fruna Macarons I have the is it 50 the other ones the 50 set but I bought these to go to work basically so I have a set of luminance at work old short bits and pieces but I was finding it quite frustrating that I just wanted some of the pastel colors as well so I thought oh, I'm just gonna get a set of brutes to, to go to work and I don't have to worry about them and um, but I thought as I'm gonna buy a set to do that I may as well try the 72 so I got these from Ali rather than from Amazon because I, co I couldn't see these 72s yet on Amazon in the UK they are at work I shall insert a picture of them in my pencil case um, so you can see what it looks like or maybe a video I'll insert something here anyway so you can see them um, but yeah re really quite pleased with them um, lovely set of colours yeah just added to my work set quite nicely and I say they're not fortune doesn't really matter they did come in the usual little plasticky trays that I won't get out and reflect all over but yeah again reasonably cheap purchase but the 72 brutes just to add to my work set somewhere I don't have to worry about them and they're reasonably cheap aren't they okay so as you might have noticed um, I have been collecting these beauties my lovely uh, museum aquarelles these ones by Karen Dache and this is my collection so far and as you can see some of them are already getting a little bit shorter disappointing so I was kind of going through the process of ordering a few of these 
we you know when I ordered backups for my pencils, right, okay, I'll order another ten and I'll order another another five this this month. Um but this month I thought, mm, hold on, how much is this costing if I'm gonna do it this way? And when I did the maths, it just did not work out to buy them single stock because that is a expensive way of buying them. Um, and when I looked on the Amazon spring sale, let me just get rid of those out of the way, this popped up for a nice price. Well, not a nice price because, you know, it's these. It was never going to be nice, was it? But there was a substantial saving on them and I love them. <laughs> So I was like, yes, I'm having them. I'm so having them because I love these pencils. They don't hurt my hands. The colours are re really vivid. And yeah, I just really enjoy using them. So yeah, they accidentally fell in my basket. They were, like I say, they're in the sale. They had some uh, pretty, the cheapest I've seen them forever while I've been uh, stalking them for a long time. So it wasn't an intentional purchase, but I have bought these beauties. And as you can see, I've not really mauled with them a huge amount yet. They're still in their lovely foam beds, sleeping soundly. I have used them, as you can see. There are a couple of blunt ones there already. Um, used them on a couple of my things in March. Greens are going short. The greens will go short anyway, because that's how I use them. Yeah, so I've bought these beauties. I'm loving them. Thank you, Amazon, for literally sending these in a brown paper bag. Yes, that's how they arrived, in a bag. And I was like, no, are you joking me? <laughs> Expensive pencils, literally just in a bag. No packaging, nothing, just in a paper bag. So I was a bit frightened when I opened these. I can't lie. I was like, oh, no, it's just going to be all broken. But as you can see... They weren't all broken. Not one pencil was broken. Because they're in their lovely foam beds, each individual lovely pencil in its foam bed, it survived fine. So as annoyed as I was with Amazon, I was delighted with Karen Darche for their environmentally disastrous pa packaging. But it does the job because they've arrived beautifully. I would dread to think what they'd been like if they were any other type of pencil in any other normal packaging. So yes, I have... Yay, I have them, my final set. I will make myself take them out of this box at some point, but I just like keep opening it. Ooh, I just like keep opening it and looking at them and they're so lovely. I don't want to take them out of there. Then last month, you might remember that I did buy these from Holbein Japan um, to see what they were like, see whether I liked them. Um, as you can see, I've squeezed them out now. And I have, if I pick the right tin up, popped them in some little half pans. Um, I filled these to the top and that's pretty much how much they have reduced by as they've been drying out. So some are um, more full than others. But I've got my sketch and story uh, bits and pieces on this and they were sketch and story as well. I've got my... Um, Sminker, Super Granulation, the water set. Um, that's those ones that I've also done. That, although that one's got a real divot in it as it's dried out. But I've also put those in as well. Had a bit of a play and I'd go with my Holbein's. They are beautiful paints. Really love them. Which is why I'm mentioning it now. Because I enjoyed them so much. But I saw these on offer at Jackson's and I was like, I just, I just bought those pencils. You can't have them, but there's big money off them. So yeah, yeah, this is what I've done. <laughs> it's, it's naughty. I am skint. I, I really am skint because these aren't the only paints I bought. I've also bought, to pop them in that tin, some magnets from Amazon and some more uh, half pans from Amazon so I can... Uh, decant them all out because I know myself I won't use them like this um, as soon as they're in they're going to go in this tin with the other ones as soon as they're in here they immediately feel less precious and I can just use them and I'm not going to worry about them um, 
so yeah I have got a 60 set there are a couple of duplicates with my little 12 pastels that I've got from Holbein but I love pastels so I know I'll use it up so that doesn't worry me at all um, but yeah quite a nice selection of colours I'm looking forward to having a bit of a play about with these and seeing what I think there are still some more I've got my eye on at Jackson's but not this month no. <laughs> used up all your money this month um, and as they had a watercolour sale on at Jackson's I did also get a couple of other bits and pieces that I now can't reach Oop. so I added to my uh, Sminker super granulation set so I've got the urban set which seems to be the only five set in the cardboard box variety um, that they still seem to be doing they seem to have gone to the threes but this one as you can see has ooh, if I can turn it with my finger which I can't urban yellow is that urban yellow urban red urban green urban brown and urban gray in it they are also going to go into a little half pan to go in that tin with my other ones they seem to be doing these ones now in little threes so you get the three little tubes in rather than the five they were cheaper um, but yeah I think I'd prefer the fives really but yeah we are where we are so this is the Shire set I had to put my glasses on Shire olive Shire green Shire blue that I've got in that one then I've got the galaxy one that has galaxy pink, galaxy violet and galaxy black in it. And then I got a few loose ones because when I was looking at um, the swatches that they had on Jackson's and you could see them, I thought, yeah, quite fancy that one as well. So I've got forest brown. It kind of looks like it separates into kind of brown green, which I thought would be good for kind of woody backgrounds. Uh, foresty backgrounds. I got shy yellow because it wasn't in the Shire pack and that also looked quite good and Tundra pink which seemed to be like purple pink blues um, when it breaks up. Again I've not had a play so I'm just um, talking with no knowledge at this point. It looked nice and I was already spending so I'm like now I'm going to spend that amount now so yes and then my actual reason for going on jackson's in the first place was to get some replacement pencils i didn't get many of those because i was spent up but i did get a couple more of my luminance the pink i use loads i'm not even going to pronounce what that color is because it's a horrific name but 571 and then brown ochre 50 percent, which i use in skin tone when i'm doing skin work so i needed another one of those and then these that stays says Stabilo are in fact Holbein's in here but I can't get them out all again replacements of colours I use my Holbein pastels a lot and all of these pencils I use a lot um, so I've got a Wisteria which is ooh, 4.30 I don't know how well that's picking it up it's a bit reflective isn't it though the print on it I've got an exciting Coca and is that 98? Reflection is quite bad. Sky Blue 324. I've got Exciting Cool Grey 536. Uh, Cosmos, which I totally run out of, didn't have one pencil at all. Started a, a page with it, then realised that I hadn't got a spur. Ran out when I was working on a page had to hunt through my brute vernus to find the same one which was thankfully close enough so i've got four three seven and i think i got two of them because of my panic about running out it disturbed me uh opal green uh two seven one i've got cork one seven one uh, gr uh sap green two six two and peach 120 and finally horizon blue 312 because they're just it's only just into blue even it's just a hint of a blue um and when i got all of that jackson sent me this free which was a nice surprise because i hadn't noticed that that was what was going to happen um so an arta white synthetic 10 brush set it is cheap brushes i cannot say it's anything else but you know if you're doing a bit of acrylic work and you're not too bothered 
Um, they'll be useful for that. There'll be no use for any of my watercolour stuff because it is, yeah, cheap. They, they feel cheap. Can't lie. But it was cheap. It was free. So I can't moan too much about any of that. So, yeah. Mm, spent too much at Jackson's. But very pleased with my goodies. Very, very pleased with my goodies. Um, yeah. Hence why there probably isn't much else in this video except these things. Because, ouch, this set hurt. Um, yeah, so <laughs> thank you very much for watching. I hope there was something that interested you. These obviously were all from Jackson's. My pencils were from Amazon. Um, they won't be the same price now because they both were for sale items. Hence why I got them now, even though I didn't really intend to. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope there was something that interested you. Bye-bye.